let's start today's session so today's session we're going to learn couple of important utilities okay and that utility allow us to do uh, certain post processing okay and with the help of that maybe be able to uh, control our simulation in a better way S couple of utility also allow us to do the uh, initialization couple of utility allow us to do the uh, or take care of different class of boundary conditions okay so yeah. uh, let's explore step by step so let's start with some initialization based type of the um, utilities so in that uh, there is a two important utilities is uh, set field and funky sets field okay so uh, set field is uh, nothing but uh, with the help of this set field you can specify at a particular location different class of initializations okay so basically that is the idea behind this set field and it is uh, inbuilt utility okay so let's explore with the help of very simple tutorial so we have to create a initialization for one class of the bubble okay so let's say there is a, uh, a particular tank or a channel or a big cavity rectangular inside which we have to specify at one location there is a bubble and uh, when the simulation start bubble will rise okay so it is called rising bubble type of the uh, case and we going to explore with the help of this very simple tutorial okay so let's uh, look at and uh, for that we going to use the VOF base one solver it's called interform okay so first explore the test case how it look like so for that let's uh, initialize the working environment in that particular directory so follow the step by step process so let's clean the case then first create the block mesh check mesh let's have a feeling how many so it is very very simple test case okay uh, let's check in the para form how the domain is look like so this is one domain and here we want to create one bubble okay as a initialization point of view okay so bubble is already triggered okay so and then we want to look at the its movement so for that we have to initialize the bubble so normally in the interform we want to initialize the um, any of the water surface inside the air domain then we have to specify the different uh, uh, its concentration with the help of the alpha okay so alpha is the volume fraction okay based on that we able to specify the location of bubble so for that let's uh, look at how we going to do that for that first let's say uh, we copy the org file so org is the original uh, boundary condition file for alpha alpha is the volume fraction okay and we try to copy in terms of its actual where we going to apply okay so first let's do that okay so and then uh, let's look at the para form so it gives us the idea how exactly it's look like okay so when we look at the para form and go towards here and look at the as a volume fraction okay so everything is zero okay so till now we not able to specify the bubble okay let's go to the zero folder and look at the this boundary file so if you see here we have uniform zero everywhere okay that is the volume fraction we have top wall bottom wall left wall right wall and front and back empty okay so now let's look at the set field so for set field if you want to define or run the set field uh, functions then we have to create one set field dict file inside the system folder so go to that area and explore so it is a set field dictionary or dict file okay and volume scalar field so we have to define what we want to initialize or want we want to manipulate okay so what we are expecting we want to change the uh, alpha phase okay equal to certain values okay so we saying volume scalar field alpha is one volume scalar uh, vector scalar field u equal to zero okay and then what we are saying within the particular domain okay we say volume fraction of 
ultimately within this particular cylindrical object volume fraction we says specifying equal to zero okay so bubble that means everything is a water and inside the bubble we have air okay so that is how we are specifying the different volume fractions so if we run the uh, if we run this particular uh, set field x file okay we able to specify very nicely within this particular uh, domain okay we able to specify volume fraction for alpha equal to zero and everywhere other than that the volume fraction equal to one so like that way we able to uh, initialize the our flow field very nicely so let's run this particular command so set field look what it reading the set field dict file okay setting internal value of volume scalar field alpha why it uh, did that because we write this value default value we specify equal to one same way default value for vector field u we specify setting field region values so adding cell with the center within the radius okay and point we specify the radius of 0.25 and based on that we set the internal value of alpha equal to certain uh, equal to uh, whatever we specified in this zone okay so like that way if we did now just check how it's look like inside so if we go here and check all the entries so let's look at the alpha so look alpha we specified so everywhere equal to one and within this particular domain we specify equal to zero so everywhere it is equal to one okay within that particular zone we specified equal to zero okay so that is how uh, we can see and if you go now towards the alpha initialization file okay so you can come to know now you have a non-uniform initializations okay previously we everything zero and here we have a value okay with respect to the number of cell and all the boundary conditions okay so like that way you can initialize the flow field with the help of the set field uh, one of the very important utility okay so let's now run this case very quickly so we have idea how, what exactly happening so we are running in the serial only So we are running the interform. So interform is a view of base solver. Okay, it allows us to track the interface between uh, either air and water. Okay, or two different liquid like that way. So let's look at the paraform. How it exactly look like? So we want to track the bubble. How the bubble is varying? So let's explore the volume fraction. Okay. So now slowly bubble is rising okay so this is how you can initialize the flow field with the help of the set function okay or set uh, field it is a very very uh, nice utility I say okay it helps us to initialize uh, uh, any class of variable either scalar or vector so but Im important here is we have to specify the set field direct, uh, dictionary and in that we have to specify the different different way ways either we want to go with the box to cell type of the things okay so we create the box with the two corner and within that box we say okay this is the volume fraction uh, spherical to the cell okay so we have a centroid and this is the radius and based on that its entire sphere is constructed and within that sphere we have a this thing okay and then cylinder to cell okay so we have a points and with the help of that point uh, we specify so this point uh, give us the axis okay please understand and uh, on that axis uh, we have a radius so this is how we can construct entire cylinder to cell type of the things okay so let's look at here when it started at the beginning so let's explore the axis okay so if you see the axis you can come to know it exactly the center of this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay and in this direction this is uh, we require the bigger size in the z direction okay so that's why we say 0 0.5 0 0.5 plus and minus 10 in the z direction so that is 
this two point give us the axis of the cylinder and radius of cylinder is 0.25 based on that we can construct the additional zone and on that cell zone and on that cell zone we are specifying the volume fraction for the alpha okay so like that way you can uh, do the different class of initializations with the help of this very nice set field uh, utility okay now i suggest uh, one very quick exercise for you okay so let's pick up this set field utility okay right now we uh, we work with the the interform i uh, suggest try to apply the set field utility for a cavity flow inside the cavity okay let's create an artificial uh, in the similar line some cylindrical zone and within that zone at the beginning you initialize with something like a uh, some different class of values if our lead uh, top wall moving with the one meter per second then within this circular cylinder let's initialize u v both has a uh, let's say u equal to point five and v equal to point zero zero one okay and uh, and then you start your case okay so that is one exercise you can quickly do with this set field uh, utility okay so please explore this utility it is a very very handy tool to initialize the uh, any class of variable either vector or scalar okay and uh, it is coming with uh, distributed version of the uh, open form okay so